On this cold December day We are on our merry way Riding along just singing a song Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel Table for 7 so it is finally, finally Vlogmas and I'm super excited. I did it last year and I absolutely loved it. It was a little stressful, not gonna lie. But it's just basically uploading a video every day for the month of December. So I am super excited for it. I have some ideas uh, for different videos in mind. Of course, we're gonna do our regular vlogging of our everyday life here at home. But um, I am looking forward to it and we are finally in December. How did that happen? I've decided to start Vlogmas off with a few of my most absolute favorites. I just thought it would be a great idea because I'm always curious to see what you guys like um, and just random information that you can share with us. So we're gonna get on to the video because I have stuff awaiting me for consumption uh, and it's not alcohol so don't think that it is because it's not. Okay so we're gonna start out with my most absolute favorite pair of jeans. Yes. Now, I am not slender at all. Like, maybe my fingers? No, not that, right? Not even. I have a very, oh man, let's see. I have a very womanly, round-ish figure. And so, jeans are not my best friend. In fact, I hate wearing jeans because they're just, they're not comfortable and I just don't like the way that they make my butt look. But I did find this pair from Old Navy and they are the Rockstar Jeggings. They are super comfortable and although they're a jegging, they're definitely still very much denim. Um, and can you see, hello, it's an elastic waist. They are super stretchy and they keep their shape. Um, like I can wear these maybe three or four times and they they fit like a glove. So these are a size 14 regular. I don't know if they come in petite. Um, if they do, I should get myself a pair. Uh, but they were regular, so of course, I am 5'2". Um, and so even like a petite pair of jeans will fit me long. I know, it's because I'm big. If I was a petite size 4, I wouldn't have to worry about the hem. But anyways. Um, and so what I did was I went ahead and I frayed the bottom. Um, and so I just basically cut it. And then once it was cut, I grabbed my scissors and just rubbed, rubbed, rubbed a sharp pair of scissors along the hem. And it gave it this like really frayed kind of in look. So this is by far my favorite pair of jeans. And I got them in this kind of lightish denim. And then I got the darker denim. And then with this hem, I just did the really quick iron-on stuff. Um, but like I said, they're super comfortable, very stretchy, they've got pockets in the back. Um, they sit way high up on me and it just helps suck everything in. Like they're just so fitted that, um, that's like I'm wearing a girdle, it's fantastic. They're super comfortable, they're super great, and I think they're very slimming because they are like, they just hug your body, which is great. Okay, so to go along with my problem area, I mean, I tops, I can find all kinds of tops. Tops are not an issue for me, but pants, bottoms, it just, ugh, like I can't ever find, I'm very hippie, so, I just have like a funk, I think I have a very funky figure. Um, and so pants are always so difficult for me to find. So those jeggings work great for me because they just, they hug my body. Look, I am a woman already and it is what it is. I know what I have to do to figure out how to get a smaller pant size. Uh, and if I don't do that, then just accept what I have. And I have a very hippie, thigh large rear figure. And so with that, I love this pair of actual leggings and these are also from Old Navy. They are the high rise, is it high rise? Yeah. They are the high rise compression leggings and I actually got these in a petite. Um, these are a large petite, but um, I, I, 
I don't know if my, again, if my figure is funky or if they're not so petite, but they sit really, really high, like really high on my waist, which again is great because it just, they suck everything in. So I got these in a large, and I'm glad that I did because um, they fit really, really snug. I wear them with everything. I wear them with, you know, tennis shoes and like a sweatshirt or a long sleeve, like a t-shirt. I also wear them with like little slip-on shoes or even some flip-flops and a shirt and a flannel over it. So yay for those jeans. Thank you, Old Navy. So my next favorite thing, I sort of kind of recently discovered i'm gonna say i've been using it for like the past maybe six months um and i really really love it it is this play it big dry shampoo and it's colored so it comes in the color brown brown is of course what i have it come in blonde and i think they come in black as well um i found it at walgreens for 9.99 so it's about ten dollars so i saw a video a while back of jacqueline hill um and i love jacqueline hill and I noticed that she had said that she puts eyeshadow like around her hairline. She just grabbed a shadow brush and got dark brown or black, I'm not sure what the color was, but she grabbed eyeshadow and just brushed it on her hairline and I was like, oh no girl, I liked you up until then. Like, My thing is I'm a sweater, I sweat and I, I mean unless it's like a dang good eyeshadow, how, how do you know that that's not going to run? Anyways, I just thought it was like odd and yet genius at the same time because I thought, well, shoot, if you have, you know, fine thinning hair, that would be great until I found this. I'm a huge fan of dry shampoo. I, I use dry shampoo every single day, even on the days that I wash my hair. My hair is very, very fine. And so um, to prevent the oils, even, even on clean hair, I will put some dry shampoo just to like create a barrier um on my hair and my roots and so i use my dry shampoo every single day and i use the um it's not your mama something one of those but this dry shampoo is m my me personally is not for everyday use for me um i put some on today and see i kind of wish that i would have done like a before and after but you can't really see my scalp this is my scalp oh there we go. So I did not put any there, but I put some here. Oh, that is great. That was a great example. I'm so proud of myself. So, I mean, if you have like fine thinning hair, especially around your hairline, it's not a bad idea. You know, there's times where I want to wear my hair up like in a high bun. And, you know, a lot of my hair, it's just like you can really see uh, my scalp. And so if I want a really nice updo bun or something, I will, you know, just kind of do my, my hairline in spots that are more scarce, especially like a part, like a big part. I mean, if I were to have parted my hair here, like, you know, you can, you can see my scalp. Um, and so I, it's a dry shampoo, ladies, but or men, because men can certainly use this as well. I really love this Play It Big dry shampoo in the color brown. Okay, so now we are gonna go on to my favorite apps. These are a few of my favorite apps on my phone. My favorite is Aviary. I have used it for years. I even used it when I had an Android. And so I am a creature of habit and so I know how to use it. I can edit pictures really quickly on my phone with my eyes closed using that app. Um, and so that's always the first one that I go to. It really, really is. But I'm trying to venture out more. And so for the last few months, I have uh, been using Visco, which I'm sure everybody has heard of. Um, I do believe that they're free. I didn't do my homework. I'm so sorry. I don't know if they're free or not. I think Aviary is free whether you have an Android or an iPhone. Um, Visco, I'm not sure. I don't know. I also have Lightroom. So I have Lightroom. I have the Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom on my laptop. And of course, that is an editing software. Lightroom is great for photographers if you're gonna edit pictures. I pay $10.81 to be exact. Um, so about $10 for those two softwares, Photoshop and Lightroom. Well, Lightroom has an app for your phone as well. So I definitely use Lightroom on my phone uh, just because I'm so familiar with the software on my laptop. But another one that I use is 
snap seed. And so I am going to walk you through a photo that I took just the other day of my Sophie. As you can see, I have all those photography apps. They're just different ones that I have. I go into Snapseed and um, I'm going to open up a very out of camera, unedited picture. So I'm showing you all of the presets that they have. Um, I'm not a preset kind of person. I like to really adjust my images on my own. This is a great, great app. You go to brightness, it has contrast, it has sharpness, it has clarity, everything that you need to edit a photo. Um, Snapseed is really, really great and I've been loving it. Anyways, you guys, so those are just a few Aviary, Visco, Facetune, Lightroom, Snapseed, um, Darkroom, InLight. I've used InLight as well. Hi, my Sophie. How do you feel, pumpkin? Not good. Do you guys see her little nose? Not good. Her little nose is all red. Uh, okay, you guys, so those are my favorite photo editing apps. Um, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, Feel free to comment down below and ask away. If you guys have apps that you love and swear by, I really wanna know, cause I'm always curious. I love photo editing apps. Um, anyways, all right, so we're gonna move on. All right, so as some of you may know, um, our local HEB makes their own coffee and I love their coffee. I love their Houston blend coffee, but right around the holidays in fact right after thanksgiving they always bring out their um holiday coffees and this is by far one of my favorite favorite coffees especially during christmas and the holidays and it is HEBs. I already opened up the box, you guys, because you know me. Um, I picked up the box yesterday, and I've already had like four pods or something. But my favorite coffee is the Pan Dulce coffee. It is so good. It says it's bodied, it's medium bodied, with sweet caramel syrup, okay, and custard flavors. When I drink this cup of coffee, that is all I see. Pan Dulce, Volcanes, Conchas. Whatever you want to call them from wherever you're at, this is what I picture when I drink this cup of coffee. So I have already made myself some and I have been enjoying it as I have been showing you my favorites. Uh, but it really, really is one of my favorite, favorite coffees. And HEB now has it where even if you're out of state, you can certainly get on their website, which I will link down below, of course. And you can order yourself a box of the Pan Dulce coffee or the Houston that has a hint of coconut in it. We have Texas Pecan. There's so many different flavors that you can choose from. But this one, this one, this one, this one is my, my favorite. All right, you guys. So maybe I saved the best for last or almost best. Um, this I discovered several months ago and I love this stuff so much. It is the Herdes Guacamole Salsa. It is so good. If you have not tried it, you must. Of course they sell it at HEB. I'm pretty sure they sell it in every or most grocery stores. Um, it is the Herdes Guacamole Salsa, you guys. It is so delicious. It is great on nachos. It is great with just chips. Um, it is great in tamales. It is great in enchiladas or on enchiladas. Uh, it is by far my most favorite, favorite salsa. I'm sorry. I wasn't looking at y'all because I was grabbing my bowl right here. I grabbed these chips from HEB and the texture is like guacamole. Like, first of all, I love avocados. It has cilantro in it, of course, right? Because you guys know my love. Um, but it's really, really so, so good. So I am going to take a bite right now and then I'm gonna come back and close out the video. Some of you may be into that mukbang. I'm not, so I'll come back. All right, you guys, so it is this. Please go check it out. They have another green salsa that's not the guacamole, but it's just a green salsa. It's okay, it's all right. The guacamole though, mm, it's so good. If I could drink this stuff, I would drink it, like for real, I'm not joking. I would just drink it right now, right here. <laughs> so.
Sophie say no, 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 no. If you have any of your favorites that you'd like to share with me, please let me know down in the comments below because I am super curious. Apps, photo apps, if you have any photo apps that you would like me to check out, I would love, love to. If you have any questions about anything that I mentioned, leave your comments and questions down below. I hope that y'all have a fantastic and blessed day. Happy, happy December. It's a vlog with you guys. I hope that everyone has a great weekend and you know what? I will see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Merry Christmas.